NFL 78 continues from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City as the Seattle Seahawks go against the Kansas City Chiefs. And today, a quarterback matchup of the veteran Mike Livingston of Kansas City. He comes off a strong game, although in defeat, in overtime last week against San Diego. Matched up with Jim Zorn of Seattle, the AFC's top passer, the young man who has become a folk hero in Seattle. Bum Phillips of Houston traded away Steve Largent a couple of years ago, says it's the worst trade he ever made. For him, not for Seattle. Now, Seattle, they, here's a man that's caught 46 passes, but I think the thing that's most impressive is that it's over a 17-yard average. He also has five touchdowns. He's an excellent football player, good receiver. I like to see this man catch the ball because he can catch in a crowd, and he doesn't worry about being hit. And we are underway here at Arrowhead. Good coverage as he gets up to the 23-yard line. And Seattle gets a chance to touch the football. Getting set to kick away to Eddie Payton waiting at the field. Oh, he hit it. Oh, nice hang time, Paul. This is Payton. Picking up the block. From that public. And it's recovered by Seattle. That's better than a pass. A long gainer, as it turns out, for the Seahawks. <laughs> up near midfield. Here's the fumble. Watch number 68, Dennis Boyd and, and Keith Butler, 53. They play sandwich with Eddie Payton, and you see the ball pop out. That's just a good hit. And number 48, Keith Simpson, their number one draft choice, recovers a fumble. And right now, looking at Seattle's third and five, and Zorn off the play action. He can run, too, but he gets it away. And a great catch made by Larger. Gary Green bumping him. Out of bounds, but it's a first down for Seattle. This was supposed to be a long pass pattern, and to give you an idea what a great receiver Largent is, number 80, watch what he does here. He runs that corner, and watch how far back he comes to the ball. He sees Zorn in trouble, comes back eight yards, catches the ball first down. Excellent pass receiver. Zorn will hold. This will be a 40-yard attempt. He is only two for seven from 40 and beyond, so let's see. That it was good. Herrera drilling it right through, and the Seahawks with 44 seconds remaining in this first quarter jump in front of the Chiefs by the score of 3-0. We'll be back in a moment. It should be pointed out, uh, the fans immediately booed when your name went up. <laughs> <laughs> what do they know here? They're too cold. It is what could be labeled a nippy day here in <laughs> Kansas City as we get underway second quarter, third and four for the Chiefs at the 35-yard line. Fumble by Livingston. Can't find it. The ball. It is their second fumble recovery. Livingston could not find the handle. 53, Keith Butler, who has been all over the place. He helped cause a fumble. Livingston just can't get a, get a hold of the ball. Number 66, Bill Sandiford, takes him out of the play. But watch 53 right here. Butler, that's just good heads up football. This is a fine linebacker. At the 31, that's watching in motion. And Zorn pops it to Roger. Out of the 15 and brought out of bounds. Tim Gray, the strong safety, finally throwing Largent out of bounds, but a first down for Seattle. You know, it's amazing. Largent is the number one receiver on this team, I think third in the league, and here's a guy that nobody's even near. Now look at the protection that Zorn has. There was a four-man rush with a blitzing linebacker on the outside, number 52, Howard, but look at how wide open Largent is. There's just absolutely nobody around him. Now, this is a guy not known for burning speed as you watch Sims carry down to the 10-yard line. Razumi making the stop on Sims. Largent not known as a burner, but uh, out of the pages of Howard fully able to get open at, at all times. Unbelievable. Barb, I just looked at the huddle. After the running play, just at the running play, number 51, John Yarno, the, the center for Seattle, he was already back in the huddle holding his arms up, <laughs> and they're still running the play. I, maybe he's not blocking anybody. His assignment is just to center and get out of there. Second and five. 
at the 10. Seahawks threatening. Again, it's Sims. And Sims able to break a tackle and bring it in. It appeared the play had stopped. That's number 11 on the season for David Sims. Well, with that play, Marv, you see why the guy came in with 10, leading the National Football League in touchdowns. Watch what happens. The play is, they're running it to their left. There is absolutely no hole at all. He stops right here, does not stop moving his feet, and watch when he moves back to the other side. Nobody touches the man. Touchdown. Well, it was too late. Gary Green hit him right at the goal line, but just a good play. Good heads up football. And Efren Herrera puts up another point, and the Seattle Seahawks have taken a 10 0 lead. As you look at a happy coach, Jack Patera, 10 0 Seattle. Well, Marv, there he is. That's a retired NBC producer. <laughs> <laughs> You wonder what happened to him when they leave NBC? Well, there he is. He is actually a professional fan. Crazy George. <laughs> he has to be. He is paid to be here. You better be. He's for several ball clubs. First and ten for the 24. Sims on the reception. And run out across the 30-yard uh, line by Clarence Sanders. Now they're uh, both back in action. Off the first and 20, he's got the tight end, Sawyer. Hart running by Sawyer up to the 38-yard line. John Sawyer, four-year veteran out of Southern Mississippi. 6'2", 230-pounder, and using it all. This tells you why this guy is a good quarterback. Now, you watch what Soren does. He knows that he's going to get nailed by Sylvester Hicks. But he waits and waits and waits until the last second to throw. You see Lynch 61 out in front, giving a block for Sawyer. And, but watch this run. He picks up another eight yards, falling. Sherman Smith wearing his rushing average, 47. Logic with a nice turn move. But uh, finally hammered down at the 45, Gary Green, the left cornerback, and Zorn and the Seahawks are rolling now, looking very he, fluid. He really is, and watch what he does to number 46, Tim Gray. Largin at the end of this thing, he puts a move on it, and it really has to make a defensive man feel kind of bad. Now watch the move, he just cuts him back to the inside. You don't throw a shoulder at this man, you better tackle him. Small as he is, he still picks up an extra yard. There is Peyton back at his 10-yard line. And that time he was able to angle it over his head. And it is uh, down by the uh, Seahawks. Dave Brown able to down it at the four-yard line. Excellent play. All right, Paul, a second and 18 for Zorn. Much time. And it goes for Rabel. And Rabel putting on a spurt was tripped up downfield by that man. The rookie out of Kentucky, Art Still. Well, Zorn sets this up beautifully. Watch him look out here to his left to Sims. Holds, 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 and now at the last second, throws the screen pass out here to Rabel. And number 67, Art Still, if he doesn't dive and make the tackle here, Rabel might have scored. So why use the wing tee that gets you in so much trouble in the first place? Now second and eight for Livingston as we resume. Oh, what a spectacular catch by Henry Marshall. Lots of stick him on the head of Henry Marshall. Oh, 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 I guess they want to come out of here with at least a field goal. This pass was really a high pass. Livingston has got, he's got a good arm, but watch. You talk about Stickham, you hit it right on the head, Marv. Watch this. Just a perfect catch. Brown was waiting for him to drop the ball. At the 27-yard line. And Livingston again to throw. This time goes to Percy. He's got it inside the five. Ten seconds to go. They better hurry. You know, games by three points, six points. This is a 20-yard field goal for Stenerud. So the Chiefs do get on the board now with four seconds remaining in the first half. 
Well, maybe the second half we're going to see some wide open football by the Kansas City Chiefs. I think they're going to have to, Marv. This 1978 National Football League game is brought to you by Schlitz. Beer makes it good. Schlitz makes it great. By Dodge and your Dodge dealer, who invite you to come in and see why people are saying, hey, that's my Dodge. And by Pioneer High Fidelity Components, we bring it back alive. Now Sherman Smith breaking free. Down to the 20. Down to the 10. And a first and goal for Seattle as Tim Gray, the strong safety, was able to trip him up. <laughs> Tim Gray, <laughs> Look at Sherman. This is beautiful. Watch Barbaro number 26. Goodbye. That is embarrassing. He just puts a good move and he's right down the middle heading for the goal line. Gray saves a touchdown. Now they have to score twice in order to tie it. And an 18 yard field goal by Efren Herrera to give Seattle a 13 to 3 lead. 908 left. Third quarter. Back. Kansas City after these messages. And there's that old producer right. again. Crazy George, uh, not bothered by the elements, though. Another friend of Paul McGuire's right there. Oh, On the right, that is. Oh, sleeper play. Third down six. Three and a half left, third quarter. Off the play action. Zorn with time. Got watching. To the 35. To the 40 yard line, just shy of the 40, and a first down for Seattle. Barbara making the stop on larger a 29 yard pass play. Play action pass, and, he, and Zorn rolls out to his right. And watch Larger come back again. You know that these guys work on this all week long. Larger comes back to the ball and then picks up another 10 yards. That's just good football. And Marv Levy has changed his mind as we open up this fourth quarter, Paul. They're going to go for it, fourth and one, at their own 23-yard line. That's McKnight in motion, and Morgado, from our angle, looked to pick it up. He got the first down. He did pick it up. Butler, the right linebacker, making the stop. Dorsey is left and Marshall right. And Livingston to throw again. This time deep. Oh, another spectacular catch by Marshall for a first down across the 40-yard line. A 21-yard pass play with Beaman and Webster combining on the stop. 11:45 left fourth quarter. Again off the break. The quarterman now has to take him. There's nobody. You see the force now by Beeman, the safety. There's no quarterman to the outside. Brown was supposed to cover McKnight. Did not do it. Touchdown. Good call. Good play. And Stunner with the extra with 10 minutes remaining fourth quarter. The Seahawk lead is cut to 13 to 10. We'll be back after this work. <laughs> well, he's used around. to moving. Zorn got larger at the first down marker. And a penalty marker throw down. Larger with his fifth catch of the afternoon. He now has 51 on the season. And it looks to be a face mask on Kansas City. Boy, and Testerman comes up and makes a great block on, on the left-hand side. Zorn has all day to throw the ball. Finds Largen across the middle. He picks up the first down. And I think we might have face masks right there. And that is a good call. It's on a Chris Barr field goal from 29 yards out, leading 3 0. Penalty marker thrown down. Zorn again looks for Larger, and he's got it. That was.
was misplayed by Gary Green, the left quarterback, but a holding penalty appears to be on its way against Seattle. You know, when you take a look at Largent making that catch, you're talking about total concentration by a receiver. This is why this man catches so many balls. He came into the game with 50, 46 receptions. I think he's got five or six today. But watch what happens. Green has the interception, he thinks. But look at the concentration by Largent. Over his hand, Holding catches the ball, offense. stays inbound. Number 63. All for nine. Third down. Nick Bebout, the left tackle of Seattle is called for the hold as you look at the penalty rundown. Five on uh, the Seahawks for 45 yards. Uh, Chiefs hit seven times for 60. Well, that's three in a row to Largent. So now he goes back to the huddle again and says, all right, let's try it one more time. <laughs> this time, let's get it right. It is a third and 20 for Seattle back at their 46-yard line. And again, Largent. Cutting downfield the left side. This time Zorn can't find him. He found him. And now Larson came back. <laughs> he came back to make that reception. I love it. However, uh, Paul way short of a first down. Well, Steve Larson had a workout on that last uh, series. Thus far today, he has caught six for 91 yards. And the guys in the truck are doing a, a heck of a job. Just, <laughs> just trying to stay up with him. That's why he's puffing. They're all down there puffing. Second and ten. Kansas City. And Livingston, the throw once again. With time, I'll be chased, able to get it away. By Webster. Up there. Dorsey was the intended receiver, and Webster, who appeared to be beaten, was able to backtrack and get a piece of it. Sign of a fine corner man. What happens here? Livingston goes back to throw. He pump fakes, holds the defense. Right here, you see it. He breaks back to the outside. Dorsey does what he's supposed to do. He takes off now. But watch Webster. Watch the ground that he covers. Right here. Excellent defensive play by a good football player. Paul, we have a terrific finish right here at Arrowhead. 4.44 remaining in the fourth quarter. Livingston should be looking to Walter White, number 88, because the man is open. Seventeen remaining fourth quarter. Kansas City on the move, trailing thirteen to ten. And Livingston has been red hot this time. Tip, but Marshall comes up with it once again. Henry Marshall, the three-year pro out of Missouri, has caught four passes today, and each one has been of the spectacular variety. All right, now you watch what Marshall does. They got away from that sideline pass pattern. They're bringing him in across the middle now to give him a little bit more room. Webster's right there. Ooh. Now you take Marshall back across the middle again. Second and 10, Reed on the sweep. Reed fighting his way to the 35 yard line. Tony Reed with a good second effort. He picked up eight on the play. Ball was fumbled, and it's recovered by Seattle. So the Seahawks able to recover as Sammy Green came up with that loose football after Reed fought his way on the second effort, picking up extra yardage. What a terrible way to end a great drive. This team has really been moving, has been really moving the football. You watch Reed, he cuts back to the inside. Number 57, Pete Cronin gets a shot at him, doesn't stop him. Reed goes forward and fumbles right here. And Sammy Green comes up with the football, number 56. And with two and a half minutes remaining of the fourth quarter, a timeout called. We'll be back in a moment. Third and 12 at the 34. All right, Strong able to unleash for Testament. And Testament has stopped across the 35-yard line. So the Kansas City Chiefs now get the benefit of that two-minute warning and also will get the football back. Uh, here's Herman Weaver getting set to punt. He has booted only 36, 34, 28 his last three. This time gets hang time, although a very short punt. And down by 
with Steve Rabel. So the Kansas City Chiefs now in excellent field position for this march with a minute and 52 remaining of the fourth quarter. Stenerud hit one from 20 yards out uh, earlier in the ball game. All right, there's the screen set up. Arthur Lane. screen up beautifully. They took all the wide receivers downfield. Watch it. It's just a little slip screen out here to MacArthur Lane. Once he breaks to the outside right here, there's just nobody to touch him. He picked up his blockers downfield and he's knocked out of bounds at the 15 yard line or actually ran out of bounds himself. Beeman was there. Plus by Jack Rodney was able to unleash 36 year old McCarthy Lane. First out of the 15 yard line. Here's Reed on the sweep, cutting inside the 10 yard line. Tony Reed inside the 10 with a minute and 25 remaining in this fourth quarter. They don't want a time bar, they want it all. Gregory and Simpson making the stop on Reed. MacArthur Lane has 64 yards in four carries. It is a second and one at the six yard line. The crowd urging the Chiefs on. Here's Lane once again, but he has tripped up. Picked up perhaps a yard on the play. A timeout is called, and here's the third and one. And the pitch out is for Reed. First down. So Tony Reed has picked it up, and the Chiefs look to get to that line in a hurry. Clock running. 36 seconds for me. First and goal at the four. And Livingston to throw for the tight end. Tony Samuels, but overthrow him. 27 seconds remaining of the fourth quarter. Seattle leading 13-10. Fourth quarter. And Livingston to throw with much time. Now here they come. Oh, Look he's out. got MacArthur Lane on the other side and can't find him. It is ruled complete. And the clock is stopped with 15 seconds remaining. Livingston has really has all day to throw the ball. The rush is not on. The linemen are not coming. Watch it right here. He fakes. Now look to the left of the screen. There's MacArthur Lane, number 42, is out there all by himself. Of course, Livingston's running for his life. He couldn't find him. He throws the ball and it's out of bounds inside the one yard line. What do you do? I read with the reception stopped by Beeson. And here is the third and goal from the one. And it is Reed fumble. Fumble. And it's Tom Fuller's now recovered by Seattle. The Seahawks recover with six seconds remaining. Reed is down on the five yard line with his head into the ground. Watch the play on the outside by number 22, Dave Brown. He's the man that really creates havoc. Then the ball still squirting around. Beeson, number 58, tried to pick it up. Seattle finally gets the ball. This game is over with. But I'll tell you right now, number 22, Dave Brown is the man that really fouled everything up. He came across the line, knocked off the blocker, and forced the fumble. And Jack Patera has to be saying thank you to someone. It's the first time he smiled, and he has a reason to. What an unlikely ending. Sixth fumble by Kansas City as Zorn just holds on. And they have lost four of those six fumbles. And the Kansas City locker room will be a more. Uh, you bet. They had an opportunity.
opportunity to pull out this football game, and they blew it. The fumble by Tony Reed as this ball game has concluded, and the Seahawks have evened up their record at six and six. And a disappointing ending for the Chiefs of Kansas City who are coming on, coming on, but they lose it 14 to 10 to Seattle.